10 o'clock and only on two tonight. Take a look at the damage to this family's home in Pearland. The driver of that Mustang came barreling into their home yesterday, smashing right through those brick walls. Mm, KPRC 2's Michael Laparty is live in Pearland tonight. And Michael, we know that one of the family's pets did not make it out alive. Was anybody else hurt? Christine, the homeowner says that no one else was seriously hurt, which is sort of surprising when you see all of the damage out here down this way. This is some of the furniture from the bedroom. You can see it's all busted up in this big pile. There's debris just about everywhere throughout the yard. The man who lives here says that vehicle came down this way through the neighbor's yard under the patio, missed this pillar here and then right here into the home. Tonight, a Pearland family is dealing with quite the mess after they say this black Mustang ended up inside their home. It's just surreal. It really is. There's really no way to no way to describe it. Luke Hirschberger says this is supposed to be his master bedroom, not a garage. And I couldn't even really speak. I couldn't put a sentence together. I was just so shocked and everyone was just like grabbing me by the shoulder saying, are your girls okay? Is there anyone else in the house? The answer was no. His wife and two girls were safe. It was yesterday afternoon when Luke says he saw the car coming through the neighbor's backyard yard and jump from the window. I land face first on our living room floor and as I land I just hear the whole house explode. He watched as two men climbed out of the vehicle into his bedroom. They had some cuts, bruises, scrapes on them, but the fact that they were able to walk away from this is just it's just incredible. Two of the family's pets weren't so lucky. Luke says their dog Brooklyn was outside at the time and died shortly after. Their cat Sailor was also injured and has to be put down. I'll never be able to replace my Brooklyn or my Sailor and there's never going to be another dog or another cat like them. The family bought the home just a couple of months ago and is now picking up the pieces. Back live, it's a little dark out here because the home is now without power. Luke says that police told him another vehicle may have either cut off or sideswiped the Mustang, forcing it off the road and then to come down this way. We did reach out to Pearland Police tonight to see if anyone was cited for this, but we are still waiting to hear back. The family, they're now staying at a hotel. They say it could be several months before they're able to get back inside here and live here. Reporting live, Michael Loparty, KPRC 2 News. Michael, thank you.